Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today, well, we got a bunch of new Jurassic World Wild War figures that were just revealed, so, um, yeah, I'm just gonna be giving my opinion on them. First, we have the Kentrosaurus. I'm not gonna lie, this figure kinda looks ugly. I do like the new action feature they're implementing on all these figures, which is controlled by the tail, so there's no buttons, no sliders, just simply, there's, you basically cannot see the action feature, but you can actually do it. First thing, the head actually looks pretty nice, that's probably the best part of the figure. Generally, the paint job looks pretty decent, except literally there's no paint on the tail. Literally, all we had to do was get some of those brown markings, plus getting the um, tail spikes colored orange. Honestly, I don't know why. We can just not get paint on the tail. But, um, yeah, this figure is kind of mediocre. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Then, next, we have probably my least favorite figure out of all of these, which is the Pteranodon, which does have new... Actually, the only one with a button, which makes sense. And, um, yeah, it literally has some new, newly sculpted wings, and, um, besides that, it's basically the same as all the other Pteranodons. I really dislike these Pteranodons. I really just don't like these figures. They're kind of boring in my opinion. And I just don't really like them. I just have never really liked them. I kind of like prefer the smaller Pteranodon that we got in. I it would have been really nice to get like a Tropia Gnathus or literally any other decently sized Pterosaur. So um, yeah, I just kind of hate these Pteranodon figures, so that's why. But I do think the paint job looks pretty nice. Though it would have looked way cooler on a Tropia Gnathus. Next, let's move on to the Ceratosugops, which, when I first saw this image, which was just the head, neck, and arms, I was insanely hyped for this figure. And then I saw the rest of the figure, and I started questioning things. I don't know, but I kind of hate the hump on its back. I think I would have preferred this figure way more if the hump was pretty much just not there, honestly. I know they probably gave it to make it look less like a Baryonyx, but still, I think the paint job... Plus the um, other parts that are sculpted it would have helped it on its own. Also, the legs look really thick for some reason. I think just generally, also just the general, the rest of the body looks like that too as well. So I think that could have helped it. It just slimmed out the um, thighs of the legs and then also got made the hump um, much lower or just non-existent. But besides that, I do really like this figure. I'm still conf conflicted if I if I like really really like this figure or if I just kind of like the figure. But um, yeah, I'd probably say I besides the hump, I absolutely love that figure. And then my favorite out of all these wild rars is the Cryptops, which, honestly, this thing looks really good. There's honestly nothing really good, wrong with the sculpt. The only thing, like, super inaccurate about this is the arms. I'm pretty sure Cryptops isn't a Bella Sword, so it probably shouldn't have this large of arms. But besides that, this figure looks great. The paint job is really nice, even though it doesn't go all the way down to the tail. It has some pretty nice neutral colors, and this is probably one of the best ones from this um, series of wild rar figures that we're getting. So, yeah, we do have one more figure that was revealed. And it's the new Therizinosaurus. I don't remember the name of this figure, just I remember it's a Therizinosaurus. And, um, yeah, I actually really do like this one. It has, honestly, it's a very similar, or even just the same sculpt as one we got for Dominion, but I do really like it. Honestly, I may get a hold of this figure, since I kind of want to have this one, and it could be a male Therizinosaurus, and the Dominion one could be, like, a female one. And, um, yeah, I do like the red patterns on it, though I wish there was more of it, maybe some more, like, on the feathers on the tail. And then maybe put some more of the feather, like the right coloration on the head and just generally all over the body. The action feature for this figure, pretty decent. I don't usually like the figures that kind of move side to side like this. They usually look very dumb in my opinion. But they probably did that since the other one didn't move like this. Like any figure that twists, kind of like the Giganotosaurus that one lost after figure, I really don't like. But this one I think it actually makes more sense since, well, you know, it's not just kind of swinging its body side to side. It literally has claws that it's like kind of swinging side to side. But generally, these figures, if I gave my opinion, I gave like ranking them in general. The Cryptops, I think, is great. Definitely the best one that's coming out. And probably will get a hold of it. Then we have the um, Ceratosugops, which I will say is probably like an A tier figure. Which, honestly, I think is really just that hump holding it back. The color scheme looks great. I kind of wish the paint went out a little bit further, but what do you expect from the tell? But again, really just that hump. I really hate the hump on his back. Can't say it enough, but I do. Besides that, I really do love this figure. Then after that, I'd say the new Therizinosaurus, since, I mean, it looks great. It's pretty much the same Therizinosaurus we got before, except, well, just as good. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as the Ammo Collection one, which, even then... I mean, it's the ham clutch of theories in a source. It's not really fair to compare it to it. But yeah, this figure I do think is really nice. Then after that, um, I actually have to go with the Pteranodon. I really don't like the Pteranodon figures, but at least this one is really well sculpted. The teared wings, I'm not crazy for, but I think they do look nice and the paint job looks good. And last place is that Kentrosaurus. I'm sorry, the color scheme is just not the best. And then generally, I don't know why, but I'm just not a big fan of the Jurassic Kentrosaurus, which this is just a slightly altered version of the Camp Cretaceous one. So literally the only difference, I believe, is the mouth being open. And um, 
Yeah, I like the Camp Cretaceous one, and it's still not my favorite, um, my favorite Kentrosaurus design. This one just does not help. The colors don't look good, and I mean, just generally the head looks kind of, looks really good, but at the same time the open mouth looks a little bit weird. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I generally do think these are some pretty nice figures, though I'm not 100% sure if the, what, exactly what way these are going to be, because, um, they're probably going to be Chaos Theory, since I believe these are ones releasing at the end of the year and not going to be the ones for, um, the ones for Jurassic World. Yeah, Jurassic World Rebirth, which is, honestly, I can't wait to see those as well, because there's a Utah Raptor and a lot lined up, and also, I believe, a Myasaur as well, which would be pretty cool to see. But, um, again, these figures do look really nice, and I believe they're going to be Camp Cretaceous, but they, at the same time, they may just not use the Camp Cretaceous branding and just have them be Epic Evolution since the Camp Cretaceous one. I mean, I don't know why I keep on saying Camp Cretaceous. I meant to say Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory figures, they may be Chaos Theory branded, but the Epic Evolution figures are, um, well, the, well, the Chaos 3 figures are technically considered Epic Evolution figures, so, who knows, maybe these will be considered that, though at the same time, these might be Jurassic World Rebirth, though I do seriously doubt that, since those other ones will probably be Wave 1, and this is, um, they won't be Wave 2, instead this, I don't, okay, what I'm trying to say is I don't think these will be Wave 1 of, um, Jurassic World Rebirth figures, I think these are just going to be Wave, like, I believe, yeah, Wave 2 Wild War figures for Chaos Theory, though, you never know, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next video, and goodbye.